Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at Spirit Tales or for those of you not in the US or in certain regions, Glory Destiny Online. I know they have two names for the game but whatever, that's what they chose to do. So let's get started. This is a free to play fantasy anime based MMO. And as you can see, I'm already at the character creation screen. You do have two options. One of the nice things is, is none of the character classes are gender locked, so you can play male or female on any of the character classes. We're going to go ahead and go with female. And then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick your tribe. So you've got three different tribes to choose from the Golden Kirin, the Main Dragon, or the Lunar Fox. Now, unfortunately, not all the classes are available for all the races, so you kind of have to decide what you want to play. With the Lunar Fox, you have the Sorcerer or the Assassin. And with the main dragon, you have the archer or the warrior. And then with the golden Kirin, you've got the fighter or the shaman. <clears throat> now, each of these kind of have their own different roles. As you can guess, the fighter and the warrior are kind of your tank or melee DPS. Your shaman is your healer or support type character. And then we go over to the archer, of course, long range damage dealer. And then you have the lunar fox, which has both DPS, long range, and short range with the assassin. I'm going to go ahead and go with the sorcerer or sorceress in this case. Now you may have noticed as I'm clicking around that there's a second avatar in the back. And that second avatar is actually for when you reach a certain point, Actually, it's actually at level 10, you're gonna do a quest. And at that point in time, you're gonna earn your spirit power. Once you earn your spirit power, then you're able to transform into this secondary character, this secondary avatar. And then you're much more powerful. You're able to take on bosses or mini bosses much, uh, much, easily, much, much easier and uh and stuff like that so like i said we're going to be the sorcerer let's go ahead and go next and there we go let's put in our name and then as you can see you've got a lot of different features here and you can click through each of these and, and even with the eyes let's see total of 15 different options with the eyes and then with the hair you've got a whole bunch of different options there let's do some randoms kind of play with that a little bit that one's pretty good i think we'll go with that one and then you can see action demonstrations. So you can kind of go through some of the emotes and see exactly what you're going to look like when you do some of the uh, different emotes. Let's see if we can find a dance. What was that one? That one was say hello. Let's see, laugh, charge, frustrated. There it is, the good old dance. So little, little hip thrust. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and create the character. Yep, we're ready to create and let's get into the game. Now you do get this cutscene. I'm going to skip by it, but it's pretty good. It tells a little bit about the story of how kind of this peaceful comp continent and these different islands all kind of came together, which created these uh, uh, these different areas. They all came together, created the whole world, and then the north kind of invaded the south. All that good jazz. But you guys can read that whole story when you watch it. <clears throat> now, when you start out, you can see here you've got a couple different camera modes available. We can do the 2D camera mode, zoom in and out, or we can do the 3D camera mode. Let's go ahead and use that, and there we go. Now we've got our first mission already queued up right here. So you can see right here, it's given us kind of a little bit of detail into what the hotkeys are gonna be, L to check your mission log, kind of the typical stuff that you find in most MMOs. So let's go ahead and hit accept, and there we go. We've got our first mission, and we're able to take off by just, uh, where let's, I don't wanna use a telefeather, I want to report to Yukumai to complete this mission. So and we're getting all the little pop-ups here that are talking about how to do different things, mission graphics, report, mission intro, all of that good stuff. So we want to go ahead and take off in that direction. And where are we going here? So right over here. So we can click on the map. I was pretty sure that we could actually click on the name and head off in that direction as well. So let's talk to her. And you can see we've got a few different options here. We could browse the shop, see what kind of pro potions there are, which is funny because this looks a little broken. So it is still, they, they just all got into open beta, so they're still fixing some of this. You figure it should highlight all of those lines. But let's go ahead and complete our quest, get some rewards, which equal some mana and some health potions. Mission complete. All right. So and then we've got our next quest, which is to head off and talk to Kadin. So you can move around with not only point and click, so you can see I can click to move as some of you want to call it. Let's close our backpack. You can also move around with W, A, S, and D. You can also move around with the arrow keys. So you have a lot of options as far as moving around. So let's go ahead and figure out where he's at. And come on. There we go. So to actually move to the character that you want to, instead of just uh, left clicking on it, you actually right click on them and then it'll take you off in that direction. So. We went ahead and talked to him, give the report to Ivan, so you pretty much just right click on that and off we go. Let's see if we can get out into some action here pretty shortly. Let's take a look at our backpack suit we have. So we have a, 
Ebidon's hammer, but let's see if we have, we should probably have a wand. There we go. Our wand is already equipped. We've got some trainee gloves, trainee robes. So the game does start you off with some basic equipment, which is always expected. Let's go ahead and accept that. And let's go to some flowerlings. Now moving the camera around, you're gonna, because you, there is click to move, you're gonna, gonna, gonna wanna hold down, right click, hold that down, and then you can move the camera around wherever you want. Of course, with, uh, with your mouse wheel, you can scroll in and out as well. The game looks really good. I mean, the graphics are, I mean, if you like anime inspired games, the graphics are really nice and lush and the, uh, the monsters are also really well done. Now one thing that I really like about the game is as you can see here you've got some basic uh, attack here and then you've got my one skill already pre-assigned and these are pre-assigned to, uh, to my left and right click if I left and right click on a monster. So I don't necessarily have to um, hotkey anything up. I can just take and just keep attacking by using my incinerate here which is nice because it's an instant cast so I can really take these monsters out nice and quickly. And you can see that not only am I taking the monsters out quick, but I'm also picking up the items that they're dropping. And you can see the, the little orbs of, of experience and also of the, uh, the spirit power, which is arming up here. Now, I'm not going to be able to use that. It's going to get full far before I can actually use that spirit power because the spirit power, like I said, is not available until I reach level 10 and I also complete the quest. So I've leveled up. So let's go into skills which is your typical K, which will bring up your skill menu. You can see there's a lot of different skills here and they've got different tiers. So once you assign enough points, then it'll bring up these different tiers and make them available and stuff like that. So we can see here, we've got a signal of ten tenacity, increases spirit bonus by 3%. You've got a signal of wisdom, increases wisdom bonus by 3%. We've already got our incinerate. And you can see right there, you must be level six to learn the next level of that skill. And then you've got frostbite, which increases attack by eight points, deals ice damage. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in there and then let's go ahead and assign that. So let's see here. Click on that and we'll assign it right there. And then what we can do is we can left click on this monster. It'll use, and use the frostbite, freeze them in place, and we can, uh, we can pretty much take these things down nice and quick. So as you can see, the game is really kind of a mix between not only your traditional MMORPG, but also your kind of action-based uh, MMO where you have really fast paced kind of not really fast paced combat but you can see everything's kind of instant cast there's not a lot of casting times and stuff uh, like that so let's talk to him and we've got a little one star weapon enhancement hammer and one star armor enhancement hammer so let's pick the armor enhancement because it's probably not going to increase my weapon the way that I would like it to so let's go ahead and accept the next one and we need to go take out some jumping shrooms so off we go to find our jumping shrooms. But what I really, another thing that I really like, <clears throat> excuse me, is you can see here, everything is nice and clean. Now obviously I'm on a, on a larger monitor, 1920 by 1200, but you can see the interface is really nice and clean the way that everything is laid out. And you've got your skill menu, you've got your mission, mission log, which we haven't actually taken a look at yet. Really basic stuff, you can click on that, see the summary, see what you have to do to complete it. Still some little things here that uh, that look like they need to be cleaned up, but not too much. And then who you need to report to and the details of what you're gonna get for that quest. Then you also see your community stuff, which is friends, relationships, player search. And of course you do have guilds later on. And one thing that, uh, that Spirit Tales has is very similar to another game by the same developer actually, is the Guild Island. So once you do get into a guild, you do have your Guild Island that'll have different buildings and all kinds of bonus options for you to build on your guild island. So let's see how many more of these guys we need. Three more. But it's nice. They go down nice and quick and I'm pretty much not using any mana and I'm just leveling up. So one more there and there we go. And we could take off in the direction of that while we assign our skill points. And it's cool because you're getting all these little pop-ups, but it's nice that there's not a true tutorial. It's kind of just as you play the game and as you're leveling up and learning about the game, the game is also giving you the nice tool tips and, and all that good jazz. So we distribute our points, distribute our points, use tracker, which we're already using. Let's complete our quest, close, and pick up the next one. And off we go into the wilderness to hunt those guys down. Let's see what else we can assign these points to. Meditation, increase max hit points by 90%. That doesn't sound too fun. Increase evasion, and these are both level six. So let's go ahead and go with the wisdom bonus. That'll probably help us with some, some mana, which we don't really need right now, but oh well. We could see some other players running. There's a lot of other players running around. So the game has definitely got a, a decent sized player base, which is always nice to see. 
especially since it did just go into open beta recently. But as I've told you guys before, the only reason I'll do an open beta or any type of beta uh, review prior to the game actually going to full launch is if the cash shop is open and the cash shop is open at this time so you can get in there, start spending money, there's going to be no wipes or anything like that. So there we go. How many more of these guys? We got all of them. Now we need to go take out some straw mushrooms. So let's take these guys out real quick. And we, we took that one out. There's another one right there. They go down pretty fast because they're just kind of sitting there. So we could get one more over here and we can go back and turn this quest in. Keep leveling up. So report to him and off we go. But let's take a look at some more of these options. Now pretty soon I'm going to get my first pet. As you can see, your pet will help you in combat. You're going to have different pets for different purposes. Be able to uh, have ones that are more attack based, ones that are more tank based, stuff like that. And there we go. We're going to get our, our first quest to actually earn some armor. Destroying daisy bugs. We've got kind of almost sounds like a little uh, a little boss fight here. And you can see right there this is flashing at me because uh, I am able to do a transform, but you can also see that I, at 16.67 seconds, I'm not sure. Let's actually kill something here and see if it, it goes up. Nope. So I'm pretty much capped out as far as how long I can have my transformation. But let's go ahead and let's actually show you guys. There's the clan tab. We don't, we're don't. we not in a clan right now, but like I was saying with your pet, you can get all kinds of different pets. You can also merge that pet with you. Uh, at any given time and then be able to actually increase your strengths and stuff Let's see distributed points. Oh, we leveled up again. So let's go distribute those points real quick Can't do any of those because we're only level four So it looks like we're pretty much stuck exactly where we're gonna put those and let's see Collection so here's a bunch of different collections that we can get headgears back and you can see all these different things show up here. Suit can't be dyed, a lovely rabbit head. So it's a lot of like cosmetic type stuff in these collections. And you got back different wings, angel wings, different clothes that you could pick up, weapons. Nothing's in there right now, nothing's in face, but you do have some different mounts, a baby ram all the way up to the lower mount of the lion wolf and then others. And then you can also preview those items right there if you want to kind of check out what they're going to look like if you get to them. You've got a whole achievement system, and as you can see, each of these, you can look them up in the different area, see exactly what the details are for earning them, which is really cool because, you know, achievements, it's always funny, you know, that you earn one AP, so you get all these AP, but you never have anything to spend those on. Games are always very much like that. You never have really any uh, any 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 awards for those. They're just kind of there for you to, to earn and, and kind of play with. But as usual in these uh, anime-inspired MMOs, you always see in the beginning you're starting off fighting mushrooms and flowers and all kinds of cutesy stuff like that. So let's take out a couple more of these daisy bugs. Another one there. And one more right there. And we can head off and turn in that quest. But you did see all the emotes when we were first starting out. You've also got the recall button, which will, which is basically like your hearthstone or uh, other things similar in other games that will take you back to a certain area. You can see right now I'm marked for Autumn Grove. Now let's head up here. Here's your item mall right there. Well, let's turn this in first. So we've got this one or that one. Hmm. Two different feet options. One's a shield shoes. This one has more defense. Required level five. Both of them require level five, so I'm not actually there yet. Which one increases increases speed, increases hit point max? Hmm. They both pretty much do the same thing. Let's just take that one. Let's close that, pick up the next quest, and off we go to destroy some red flower bugs, and we've got to get our level first. But here's the item mall. Then you've got different events that are going on. You can see uh, festival events, special events, fantastic dumpling. C of C have decided that they'll... It doesn't even look like it's ready yet. So level 35 plus. So all of these are, are just... You've got some open beta events that you can get involved in, individual weekly, 2030 to 2130 so that they're basically timed events with certain times of the day you get different for one hour each day players can visit an NPC and receive six chance boxes so definitely stuff to kind of get in and take part in especially since those chance boxes will probably have different cool stuff for for players to use let's go ahead and take out some of these red flower bugs while we look at some more of this stuff use mouse to change the angle we can teleport places I've got mail right there let's bring up the map so here's the Here's the main map, and then there's the world map. And you can see you can kind of narrow this down to all the different regions, jump in there and see what's going on, see what different areas you can check out when you finally do get to those areas. But it's cool kind of this, this world map. It looks a lot different than most world maps do.
so kind of cool you got this little whale off in the distance but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to be able to get you guys to level 10 for you to be able to see the spirit power but you do get the basic understanding of how that all works and unfortunately I'm killing these things almost too fast to be able to show you some of the other let's see if I can take it a little bit slower we've got a, quite a few people over here hunting these red flower bugs right now but you can see I've got the BP which shows the monster armor and then once you break their armor then they're very susceptible to certain types of attacks if, if you've played Eden Eternal or anything like that you may recognize that that break point option as well and it really comes in handy when you're fighting in instances and fighting bosses and stuff so but either way i hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released if you'd like to play or learn more about spirit tales you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description till next time thanks for watching